Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker and I'm in Soul 752. And uh, I opened up this picture and there's some really cool stuff in this whole soul. But this picture right off the bat, uh, my attention went right to this area here and here. Uh, as I made it a little bigger. At this point, this started to look like a house that uh, was buried. And you will see what I mean. Or it's covered up by editing. As I made it bigger, it looked like a house to me. You can see the roof, the window, and then you can see there's some type, to me it looks like a dragon. A dragon's head carved here, which I found many of them. On the Martian in these Martian pictures. All right, let's open this up in uh, Photoshop and see what we really have here. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this. And you can see it almost looks like it's got some type of sidewalk area or walkway area. Looks like a typical house that we'd have here. You see the roof, the overhangs. Here's another entrance. You can see it's on some type of base. And here it looks like there might have been. It's crazy, but I've seen a lot of them. See this S? This S figure? But, uh, I mean, to me this looks like some type of house or it's a structure. Um, I mean, it just really stood out to me. I mean, NASA's putting a layer over these pictures. It really confuses almost all of us. But they're putting some, they're, they're fading a layer over these pictures. And see like this area here? See this little statue? See the piece that comes out of the top? There's a little pipe. See that? And you see all these little things, like uh, structures. See this stuff? So you could walk through this area and then see this, like this hazy stuff here. This is the layer they're putting over the picture. See, but this item here, see this, it looks like a ball. See that? With this rectangular object on top. Looks like it's got a, maybe a little window. Maybe it's like a mausoleum or, you know, some type of building, machine, who knows. See, then you come over here, see this? See how this, see the shadows? This is the stuff that's really here. You see all of this? You can see these shadows underneath this. And then you see all this haze, like this. This is the layer they're putting over the top of these pictures. So we're losing all sense of depth. You know, you just don't. You can't tell what's standing up, what's not. See this? This is a 3D object. See this? See what comes up? See the little piece in the center here? <laughs> this could be a machine. I mean, who knows? Here's another piece. You can see the shadows. And then see all this like, like gray and white hazy stuff? That's the layer they're putting over the top of this. And you lose all sense. You just, you really have to concentrate on these pictures. Okay, so this is what I call the house. Now we're gonna come up the hill here, and we're gonna set our attention right here. And what I take to be as uh, a sculpture of a dragon, See the head on it? There's the eye. The head, see it comes down, there's the mouth. And the body goes back here. Now you see this light haze? Here, another, there's another head carved here. And that haze is this layer they're putting over top of this stuff. Guy 
carved into it. The body goes back down here. There's the mouth. Okay. The nose. And there's a lot of very interesting stuff in this little area. through every piece but there's as always I'll give you the links but there's some really cool stuff for you guys to pick out and find and look at these carvings and look at this stuff I, mean, I don't know how stupid NASA thinks society is but I mean this stuff is just it's in our face. It's here. And I know it's it's hard. It's scary. You know, because it goes against everything we were taught. I mean, I went to Catholic school as a kid, so you know how my life was. There was no picnic. When I used to talk about stuff like this in school, my God, <laughs> you would have thought that I was uh, Satan worshiping. Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this object. This looks like some type of opening. Looks like there's a grate in there. And a circular object. It almost looks like maybe it's some type of fan or blower or something. Really neat stuff in here. I mean, these are real objects. See, this is all that second layer they're putting on these pictures. It's like a kaleidoscope they're laying over this. So everything looks blurred, and I mean. There's a lot of uh, researchers out there that add blur, or it's, uh, I think it's called Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur, whatever, uh, to the picture. You actually got to blur the picture and then sharpen it. On uh, some images, it works great. But uh, this one, I didn't have to uh, do anything like that to I just uh, adjusted the contrast, the uh, brightness the uh, gamma exposure a little bit and I took uh, some saturation some color out of the picture that's all now look at this see they want you to believe this is a rock okay now if this is a solid rock how come we could see through it huh. you could see through this black huh. it's a rock dude. It's not a rock even here you see how they colored this in what I think these are, are gigantic buildings. See? See how it comes up? I believe these are something like you'd see in Rome. Big, white, you know, with the columns. See? That's what I, would, I believe you'd be looking at. Even back here, you could see their structure back here. But you see how they put the cities? See the angles? Put the, how do you put this haze all over it? See, even here, that haze. See how that looks like an opening? Now you get what I'm saying about how they put this wherever they don't want you to see something? I mean, to me, this just looks like gigantic uh, structures. I mean, there's buildings all over this picture. I mean, 
is because you can see the metal is actually reflecting the sunlight. See it? It's like a ball here with a hole. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you with, uh, I really don't think there's, I mean there's a lot more, but I don't, I don't you know, I want to leave a little bit for you guys to find. Because I think it's cool when you download the picture and you kind of find this stuff yourself. I know when I first started uh, looking at these pictures, I used to think it was, you know, it was kind of cool that, you know, the guy or girl that was doing the video didn't pick out everything. I had something to find myself. Like, you see these? See these carvings? There's the head of it. The eye comes down. There's a little piece sticking out here. You can see the shadow. There's circles in the center. I mean, look at these carvings. There's shadows there. I mean, these are real carvings. this area here it actually looks like uh, you know the rain guard you know the rain guards or the overhangs there would be a post a post another post another one holding it up you know when they're attached to a building you stand underneath them it's got the cloth top I mean look at that I mean you can see it's rounded NASA's taking pictures with this camera. They're on their website. Crystal clear pictures. Crystal. And then they hand us this stuff. So, you know, when I see a picture like this, I know I'm on the good stuff. Just a matter of finding it. But I know I'm in the right area. So... This is the main, my main anomaly for today, which I think is some type of house. You see it's got like a walkway area or a cement platform, whatever you want to call it. There's the roof, the overhang, entrances, and up the hill a little bit to the right is where I found what I'm calling a dragon dragon carving statue carved but they're they were just all over the place all right guys you know what to do two seekers out